हेलो एंड वेलकम टू इन फोकस प्रोग्राम टूडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज की टेक अवेज ऑफ बॉर्न क्लाइमेट चेंज कॉन्फ्रेंस पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन विल बी बैकग्राउंड ऑफ द न्यूज बॉर्न क्लाइमेट चेंज कॉन्फ्रेंस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री की इशूज की आउटकम्स ताला नोवा डायलॉग इंडियाज प्रोग्रेस एंड प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मूविंग ऑन टू द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ द न्यूज रिसेंटली द बॉर्न क्लाइमेट चेंज कॉन्फ्रेंस कंक्लूडेड इन बॉर्न जर्मनी The conference was held to further the agenda of the Paris Agreement. Just like the more famous year-ending climate conferences, Bonn underperformed. The developed and the developing countries differed on various issues. Now let's discuss about Bonn Climate Change Conference 2023. The Bonn conference plays a crucial role in advancing international cooperation and addressing technical aspects related to climate change mitigation. and the implementation of nationally determined contributions or ndcs it provides an opportunity for countries to discuss and develop rules and mechanisms for carbon trading and collaboration the bonn conference was important because the current global efforts to keep rising temperatures in check are inadequate bonn was expected to act as the opportunity for accelerated action Bonn nearly collapsed because the countries were barely able to agree on a meeting agenda and analysts pointing to a leadership vacuum on the part of COP28's host the United Arab Emirates now moving on to key issues there are concerns regarding finance and review mechanism the developed countries do not want to stay accountable for climate change they are seeking to downplay the historical responsibility in causing global warming A group of about 40 rich and industrialized countries usually referred to as NX1 countries have been responsible for bulk of the accumulated greenhouse gas emissions. This historical responsibility has been the basis for the differentiated burden sharing in the climate change framework. Arguments by USA. The USA has argued that bridging the adequacy gap was not the sole responsibility of the developed nations. it would not agree to references to pre 2020 commitments in the global stock take arguments by australia australia argued that the historical emissions happened at a time when there was no alternative to fossil fuel based energy sources and when there was a little understanding on the harm caused by greenhouse gases since 1992 about 57% of the carbon dioxide emissions and 70% of the incremental warming had come from non nx1 countries so while maintaining that developed countries would take the lead in the climate action they did not believe there was an unambiguous debt owed by the developed countries for past actions erasure of historical responsibility is the most sensitive issue for developing countries this issue would likely come back at cop 28 the financial matter is also a point of friction between the developing and the developed countries developed countries are under an obligation to support the implementation of climate action plans of developing countries through money and tech transfers but is a concern of the developing countries that they are not receiving adequate support from them developing countries require nearly 6 trillion us dollars till 2030 to implement their climate action plans against this developed countries had committed to raise 100 billion us dollars per year from 2020 but the developed countries have failed them on this aspect as well now let's discuss about the key outcomes the key demands centered on getting agreed upon and including in the official agenda the pre 2020 actions there was also a demand for fixing a deadline for the ratification of 2012 Doha amendments to the Kyoto protocol to give a legal shape to the pre-2020 commitments above all the developing countries stood as a solid block demanding a balanced deal global stock take or gst mandated by the 2015 paris agreement gst is an exercise aimed at assessing the progress being made in the fight against climate change and deciding ways and means to enhance the global effort to bridge the adequacy gap The Paris Agreement says GST must be conducted every 5 years starting in 2023. The talks on the third and the final round of GST was concluded in the Bonn Conference 2023. The technical discussions just produced a short framework on the elements to be included in the stock take exercise. The final decision on GST will be taken in the COP28 meeting which will be held in UAE. Now moving on to Tala Nova dialogue 
The Talanoa Dialogue was a strategy created to aid nations in putting their nationally determined contributions into action and improving them by the year 2020. It aimed to foster stability and inclusiveness in the dialogue by creating a safer space which embraces mutual respect for a platform for decision-making for a better future. The word Talanoa stands for facilitative dialogue and seeks to sidestep any power struggle which is inherent to negotiations. Now moving on to India's progress. India's progress in reducing the intensity of its greenhouse gas emissions has been positive. It is on track to achieve the national pledge under the 2015 Paris Agreement. 40% of India's power needs will be met by renewable energy by 2030. Now it's time for the practice question. First of all, prelims question. Consider the following statements regarding Bonn Climate Change Conference 2023. 1. It is aimed at trading of carbon credits under the Paris Agreement's Article 6. 2. Discussions at the Bonn Conference will address the special circumstances of least developed countries and small island developing states in the mechanism and transfer of internationally transferred mitigation outcomes, a unit of trade. 3. The Bonn Conference was held at Bonn, Switzerland. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 1 and 2 only, 2 and 3 only, or 1, 2 and 3. And now mains question. Climate change actions require mutual cooperation between the developing and the developed countries. Comment. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.